Hello and welcome back to Fusion, Metroid Fusion. We are in Sector 1 and we need to take care of some stuff here. Such as kill some zombies and um, when we go in here, take a look. Is this where, really where we want to go? I'm not sure. What's up there? So yeah, I'm not gonna care about time. Okay, there's nothing there in this game. I'm, I'm really gonna take my time, I think. Because, uh... Well, I thought... Holy crap. What are you? As I said uh, multiple times in the last video, I only play this uh, a few selected times. So, uh, you know, first of all, I'm not good at it, but... I also, you know, I don't want to stress things too much, you know. Oh my god, I just killed that thing. Atmospheric stabilizer online. Um, yeah, I just want to take my time with this game. I think, it, I think this game has a great atmosphere anyway, so... Anyway, uh, if you shoot here, you can get an E-Tank. Ow. They did a lot of damage there. So what's in here? It's another stabilizer. Just gonna shoot out all this stuff and uh, kill some of these guys. Just keep going here. And these are crumble blocks, so jump over that. There we go. Now the one is online. Just fall down. And let's return back. And let's see what's in here. You know, it's it's kind of exciting because this game is still new to me, you know. I still have I have memorized some of the like item locations and whatnot. But by no means have I, you know, memorized the map, so it's still kind of new to me, which is awesome, you know. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this game now, because I'm, you know, I like this game enough that I know I'm going to play it several times, you know. So, uh, I'll try to do this as early as possible. Because I think, um, you know, the more noobish I am at the game, I, for some reason I feel like the better, you know, the uh, Let's Play will be. I don't know why, but I don't know, it's just more fun when you're not as familiar with the game, I guess. Okay, what was I doing there? No, I fell down. Of course, it can be frustrating too when you're really bad at something. Like, right here. This is a great example. Hopefully I get better with time, though. Yay! I guess we can kill some of these guys, maybe get some some energy and whatnot back. Uh, the yellow um, um, X parasites, they only, I only think, I think they only bring back like 10 HP, so it's really not much. But, oh wow, did not want to do that. Okay. They're trying to be a bit creative here, how you take out these things, so that's cool. Now you can you might be able to see that there are those guys actually jumping around in the background there. And every now and then they will come back to the foreground, so you have like an infinite number of them that you can fight. Ooh. Expansion. Cool. And is there anything else here? No. Alright, let's move on. Um, so just gonna kill those with, uh, with missiles. So missiles are really good in this game. Which is good, because, uh, again, the enemies are really strong. Um, deal a lot of damage, so... 
it's a good thing that you also have something that is strong. You know, one of the things that kind of annoys me a little bit about uh, Prime 3 is the fact that both your um, your arm cannon and as well as your missiles just suck in that game. So the only thing you really have, you know, that is effective against enemies is like your uh, um, what is that called again? Crap. Hyper mode. So let's go and see what's in here. Oh, it's just a save point. I'm, I'm not gonna save, I don't think, because if something screws up, you know, I want to be able to redo this. Okay. Aha. So, I, I don't think you saw that, but these guys drop the uh, red X parasite or X thingy, so. And those restore, like, a whole bunch of your life and a whole bunch of your ammo as well, so that's really cool. Huh? Ooh, look at this. Oh no! It was a fake! So these uh, particular X parasites, you will want to shoot them when they open their eye and when they're about to shoot at you. So, uh, I'm not doing a good, good job dodging this guy's attacks, but it's okay. Charge beam! Awesome. Charge beam in this game is pretty good too. You should remember to use it often. Um, what? What's going on here? Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, damn it. I know I, there, there's something in that room. I'm not sure if I can get it now, but uh, I'm just going to have to go back, I guess. So you can see the charge beam actually made our um, regular shots a bit bigger too, which is cool. And there we go. All stabilizers online. Atmospheric levels equalized. And I guess I guess our, our just regular gun became a bit stronger too. So that's really awesome. I'm just gonna go back in here and see if there's anything I can do here now. Um, yes, there is. Ow. One thing that is annoying about the charge beam though is that um, sometimes you think you have uh, you have charged it all the way up, but you haven't. And you know the enemies will really die from a fully charged shot, but will do like almost no damage to when it's you know like let's say 80% charged or whatever. So you gotta be careful about that. Still haven't gotten really good at the timing yet, but I'll get there. Eventually, it's another save point that I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore. I th I think I'm gonna use save points, you know, before bosses, perhaps. Um, is this right? No, it isn't. I guess I just want to head back now, because we we took care of the objective that we were being presented with. Ow. Yeah. Um, this doesn't feel right, though. But whatever. We'll, we'll do this this way. It's no big deal. I'm just gonna run through. Perhaps get some of you guys. Aha. And let's recharge. And let's skip the save room for now. Atmospheric stabilizers online. But many X have already made it to other sectors, it seems. Crap! 
in particular Sector 2, the tropical habitat. Hmm. Get over there. Okay. I guess so. I guess my objective is clear. So yeah, again, this computer is just gonna tell us to go to all these different places all around the uh, station. As I listened to the briefing, my thoughts uh, turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders by saying, any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of uh, noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer too. Well, we'll see about that. It's just a computer, Samus. Anyway, let's return to Sector 2, or return, let's uh, go to Sector 2. You can see it's green, because obviously this is the jungle-themed uh, sector, so... And what do you have to say now? But yeah, I must say, that there's a bit too much, you know, interacting with this computer. Oh no! It's an X mimicking you! The SAX. Dun dun! Well, that kind of makes sense though. Use the power bomb to escape the quarantine bay. Hmm. Yeah, it sure is. The, S the SAX is mimicking you at full power. You can't face it. If you see the SAX, just run. Don't think about fighting. And I'm vulnerable to cold, which is an unexpe unexpected side effect of the Metroid vaccine. Again, makes sense. I can be frozen by an ice beam. And which, yeah, of course, the SAX has, so... Yeah, I got you. I'm not gonna fight it. So I need bombs, but it's sealed by a level 1 hatch. And find the security room and release the level 1 locks. Not marked on our map, so we're gonna be on our own for a while. Yes, it's clear. Yeah, as I said, a bit too much interacting with the computer, I, I, I must say. But besides that, great game. I don't really mind the linear aspects of this game. I think, again, it just gives another flavor to this to this series. You know, I, I, I like to try to like games for what they are, not try to, you know, go out of my way to criticize them for something they, you know... It doesn't make sense to me, you know, to say that this game should have been more like, like uh, Super Metroid when it's, you know, it is not Super Metroid. So, I mean, you can still, you know, criticize games and whatnot, but it's just, I don't know. It's weird to me how people say that there should have been sequence breaks like there were in uh, Super Metroid, but you know, just because there isn't, you know, it's, I don't know, it's, it's weird. I could probably rant a little bit about that, but I'm not going to. First of all, because I suck at ranting, um, and second of all, because I, you know, it doesn't really have anything to do with this game, it has to do with speedrunning, mainly. Oh, come on, get up there. But yeah, I, I, I try to, uh, you know, take the good aspects of a game and enjoy it. Not that I think that this game, you know, is... Like, okay, like uh, Mass Effect 2. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan. I love the first, the first game. But the second game, I'm gonna be honest, I was pretty disappointed with it. Um, because it wasn't like the first game. But over the years, I've been, you know... Instead of focusing on the stuff I didn't like about it, I've been focusing on the stuff that I do like about it. Um, and because of that, I've been able to enjoy that game. And to the point where I actually think it's it's now a valid, you know, 
follow up, I guess, to to the first game. And of course, I didn't think, you know, my first impression of this game wasn't this is bad, but still, it's different. But I, I don't, I'm not gonna hold it against it, you know. Okay, so now we have a whole bunch of things to explore here. I'm just gonna shoot all of these guys. Um, I don't think there's anything I can do in here. No. Not right now, anyway. There's probably going to be something I can do there later. But we need to go and grab our bombs. Um, where was that? Okay, well, I'm kind of going the right way now. Maybe I could use some more shard shells here. Ah, uh, like that. And here we go! Bombs! Yay! Awesome, now I can start spamming them to look for secrets. Uh oh. What happened? I can hear, I can hear footsteps. Yeah, if you look now, this uh, door is ruined, we can't do anything about that, we can't go through it or anything, so... Um, where do I want to go? So the bombs really take a whole lot of time to explode in this game. But, we have some missiles here, awesome. And of course you can't mock ball and stuff like that. That's cool. Again, that's a that's a Super Metroid exclusive, and you can't hold hold it against this game that it doesn't have mock ball or whatever. Because the game doesn't function the same as the Super Metroid does. Okay, I'm I'm not sure where I'm going. I just want to check out all these doors. I think this is probably a save point. Yeah, it is. I'm not gonna save just yet. So let's kill these guys again. One thing I really like about the uh, the uh, Game Boy Advance Metroids here is that they they flow really well there and they play really fast. Like the doors open really fast and you know your movements really fast and you shoot really fast and all that. That's pretty awesome. So um, what's up with this block? Nothing. I guess at some point in time I am gonna try to uh, beat this after two hours, 100%. Um. Aha! Alright, let's move on. Where am I now? There's an interesting room, there's nothing here. It's kind of mechanical and stuff. And more jungle areas. Of course. But I mean, what else would be here? Oh, I need to bomb this, I guess. And watch out for the side hoppers. They are very strong. Ow. And they can shoot spikes. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, these blue guys have extremely. An extreme amount of health, but they will give you one of those red X's if you if you kill them. So that's cool. There aren't that many of them in the game, but sometimes you will run across stronger versions of an enemy, and you will also see sometimes you know the X's after you kill an en or an enemy, they will actually go together with another one that's like just floating in the air, and they will form a stronger enemy or the same the same monster again. You know, but just in a different spot, so that can be kind of annoying. Ow. Alright, where am I now? So let's check out the 
map. Okay, we can go in there, we can go in there. Um, I hate when I have several ways to go. I don't think there is much in here, though. Oh, save point. Oh, by the way, I do need to check out the save points, because some of them have, uh, you know, they will have, uh, like, secret pathways that you can go, you can bomb out. So, I think there's like two or three instances where you have that, so... I need to make sure to actually check out the save points. And what do we have here? Nothing. Yet. Stuff will happen in that room later though, but not now. Uh -huh. Yeah, we don't want to be there either. I remember where we are now, or where we're going. So. Ow. Man, it never ends. I do think we have a boss coming up here pretty soon. I think I'm actually going to save here and uh, call this an episode. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.